Let's talk about the update on the bump stock lawsuit case. All right, so Merrick Garland versus Michael Cargill. It's now called the Garland versus Cargill lawsuit. So originally we told you that the U.S. Supreme Court was going to discuss this case in conference on September 26. They now decided to temporarily postpone that until possibly October. So the likely reason for the delay is there there are now three nearly identical bump stock petitions before the Supreme Court. Now, after the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit in Cincinnati held a May in May, uh, the bump stock rule was invalid. Well, and that's going to be the Hardin versus Garland case. ATF filed a petition asking the U.S. Supreme Court to review that petition. So, and after the D.C. Circuit upheld the rule in the Goodes versus ATF, the plaintiff in that case filed their own Satori petition in June. Additionally, briefs still need to be filed in both of those cases, so the court will not be in a position to rule on either petition until mid-October at the earliest. Now, the court most likely is delaying the consideration of the petition in Garland v. Cargill so that all three petitions can be considered at the same time. Now, because of the conflict decision from the lower courts, the Supreme Court almost certainly will agree to decide the bump stock issue. Now, it may decide to hear all three cases or it may decide to grant review in only one and hold on to the other two, ca two cases while it decides the one in it granted. Now, if the court agrees to hear or arguments in only one of the cases, ours is, you know, the, and that's going to be the, the Garland versus Cargo case is going to be the only, well, well most certainly, most certainly, uh, most likely be the one the court will choose to hear. Now, the reason we say that is because uh, when there are multiple petitions raising identical issues. The court generally agrees to hear the first filed petition, which is the Garland v. Cargill case. Now, the U.S. Solicitor General has, a, has asked the court, the U.S. Supreme Court, to hear the Garland v. Cargill case and hold the other cases. And the court generally adopts the advice of the Solicitor General on such issues. Now, the petitions in Gudis suggested as one option. So what they did in good is they said, hey, why don't you go ahead and hear the Garland v. Cargo case first, hold on to our case, and then we'll, you know, go from there. You know, so we'll see what happens, you know, come October, because, man, this case here, this bump stock lawsuit case is going to be, I, I, I've said it once, I've said it again, uh, I'll say it one more time, one of the most important cases of our lifetime, because if the Supreme Court decides this case and hears this case, then that will say, hey, the ATF can't create a right law, and that will go for, you know, whatever the ATF is trying to ban. Brace, triggers, whatever. Reset triggers, any and everything. It's a really important case. So this is, this is the line right here. We got to hold it.